Hi, my name is Brianna Malmos. I am the chemistry and physics teacher here at Cactus High School. I've been teaching here at Cactus for four years and I'm excited to introduce myself to you guys. So, I'm a graduate of ASU. I got my undergraduate there in teaching chemistry and physics and I recently completed my master's, very exciting, um, in natural science, which allowed me to take upper level classes in physics and chemistry while at the same time taking application courses and how to teach those subjects better at the high school level. So it was really valuable. I took a lot of experiences from it that I've actually already been able to implement in my own classroom. So I'm going to talk a little bit more about myself as well as the expectations for my courses, how to access content and lessons by walking you guys through probably the most valuable resource our class has, which is the classroom website. So on the first day of school, um, I worked with my students on how to bookmark this website, save it on your home screen, create the little application box on your home screen on your phone um, so that it was an easy one-stop shop for them. But if anyone is trying to access my website and they're not on their personal device that's already got the information saved, it's still pretty straightforward on how to access it. In any search engine, if you type my first and last name, it's usually the first or one of the first links to pop up. It's Brianna Malmo's home. When you click on it, it takes you to the home page of the classroom website that's got things like my contact information hyperlinked, a welcome board that's got a little bit of information about me, my passions for my subjects, my um, fixed and growth mindset philosophies, and other fun stuff like that. Um, it's also got some important links here to some platforms that we might commonly use in class. Some of my favorites are Pivot Interactives, which is a virtual lab platform. It's great for data collection and data analysis, considering we're limited on the tools that we have in class. Um, FET Simulations is also a really popular one as well. Some of these other ones might just be helpful for students and parents as well, so that if they're already on my website, it's pretty easy for them to navigate to some other websites like the Student Portal or parent view. Now the most common link on the website is the class links. Um, this is probably the most popular page on the website because every single day I create an agenda and I post it to my class links page. So each subject has got its own set of class links. Class documents is the links that I post my agendas to. So students that are both in person, working remotely, sick, traveling at home, um, are accessing the daily agenda each day. So if you're physics students per se, you would go to the class documents and you'd find that all of the content for the course is organized by folder. So currently, um, if I were a physics student, we are in unit two. If I wanted to find out what we did today, I would go to the Unit 2 homework folder and I'd see all of the agendas are organized by date. So I could click on today's agenda and see what it was that was done in class or expects to be done for homework. So in class today, we worked on a speed and velocity class kick. Um, and then we completed a velocity and speed handout and presented those problems with whiteboard presentations. So if I were in person, I'd be referring to this to access the links for the day. Um, if I'm at home, then I've also got the links at home so I can stay on track and not fall behind. Now, lots of times when I have students that aren't present in class, one of the more challenging things for them to do to stay caught up is learning the content. As much as filling in notes is helpful, it's not the same as getting the lesson live. So what I've gotten in the habit of do doing is recording my lessons. Um, it's been really helpful for doing things like a flipped classroom or even a split class, dividing and conquering time when we're running labs. Um, and it's also really helpful for my students that have been working remotely as well so that they can learn the content alongside their peers who are physically present in the class. So my notes are typically uploaded here to the notes file. However, I do hyperlink them into the homework folder. For example, on February 1st, I hyperlinked all of my lessons here. I'll provide Microsoft links for my students who are working on district issued devices since YouTube is blocked. And I also provide a YouTube link in the instance that some Someone's working on a personal device and YouTube loads a bit, little bit quicker. Um, I've heard that in the past sometimes it's helpful for the load time when students work on YouTube versus Microsoft, so I provide both just so that they have options. Now you might be wondering why some of this is crossed out. We tend to adjust throughout the day, so sometimes I might have activities um, that I planned that we didn't get around to because we spent more time maybe on a whiteboard discussion or we spent more time doing a lab or data collection than I originally intended. So this is a live document document that I make edits to um, during class. So students who are participating remotely 
um, will want to pay attention to that and can also participate um, via live meetings. So I've sent out a live meeting information link um, to all of my classes that they can refer back to um, if they want to attend class remotely. Since I do have some students that choose to attend and some that don't, um, I've asked that students let me know if they plan on attending remotely so that I can start the meeting and make sure that um, all is well as all is working and that I'm not leaving any students out. Um, it hasn't been something that has been too much of a of um, an issue. I think it's actually been pretty helpful. I've had lots of students that have opted into it or have opted out, but I want to make sure that you as parents are aware that those are options as well if they don't want to do everything asynchronously. That being said, I think that covers most everything on my website and as far as my expectations for my classes. However, if you have questions, please let me know. I'd love to hear from you. You can email me using my website with the hyperlink here or straight from the Parent View platform. But I hope you guys have a great day and I look forward to hearing from you guys.